Wendy's, the fast food chain, is going to start introducing dynamic pricing into their menus. What? Hey, how's it going? My name is Mike, and I talk about branding. Wendy's, by 2025, will start implementing price changes depending on what time of the day and how much demand there is for their menu. How many people are in line, how many cars are in line, will make the price of the food more expensive, up to 20% more expensive. So we're here to discuss, what do you think that's going to do to the brand? So what's the public's reaction going to be to this really strange, never heard of before, dynamic pricing? Imagine you pull up to Wendy's, you just got off work or whatever, you're tired, you don't necessarily want to eat fast food because fast food kind of sucks, it's kind of expensive in general as it is already, it gets your fingers all greasy, oh, oh, you wait, you know, whatever, 10 minutes for five cars to get up to the menu, and then when you get up to the menu, you realize, what? Everything is more expensive. I don't think that's going to be a good customer experience for anyone. I think that person's going to get pissed and do one of two things. Either bite the bullet, pay the money, get the meal, be pissed because it doesn't taste 20% better than it did the other day, and then never go back again. Or they're going to pull something like maybe my dad would do where he would just somehow get out of the lane, whether that meant going over curbs, bushes, whatever. His 4 by 4 is just going to it's just going to exit exit stage right brother now other industries do this and it kind of makes sense for those industries we've accepted it for those industries like ride sharing uber lyft the more demand there is the higher the price i that makes sense i don't that makes sense i feel like we all expect that it's just kind of how it is right i mean supply and demand sure but why doesn't my brain want to do that for Wendy's? Why is my brain not okay with that for Wendy's? I think this is going to have a huge impact on the brand loyalty. So those people that like Wendy's, I don't know who they are. Those people that go there all the time, I feel like this is going to really piss them off. And, you know, even the people that really love Wendy's, if they really, really love Wendy's and they also have are like a low income family or something, now they're going to have to go to Wendy's at a different time of day. <laughs> so... Like, what's the point of this fast food, really? Isn't it supposed to be a convenience? I think it is. It's supposed to be like kind of like a convenience food. So now those people are just probably not going to go there anymore either. The copycat recipe category on Pinterest is probably going to explode. I'm not really sure how someone would view this positively, other than a board member at Wendy's. I'm not sure how a customer would view this positively. I'm not sure how the employees are going to view it positively. I just don't, I just, I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. And for all the trash that Wendy talks on Twitter about, you know, McDonald's and everything else, this really is strange. And so I actually went to their Twitter to see, you know, if the crazy Twitter account that runs Wendy's thing, if they had anything to say. And they didn't. They, they haven't said anything for a couple of days, which was also kind of strange. And yeah, we're talking all about like customers and how it's going to look on the brand and everything. But what about the employees? What about the poor people that work there that are going to show up to work and the pricing dynamics going to be different and the customers are going to be in line and they're going to have to deal with them one on one, right? Right at the window. Are they going to throw drinks in the window? Are they going to talk trash to them? Are they going to make them feel terrible at their, you know, minimum wage job? It's going to suck for the employees. And the big question that I have is when the 20% increase happens, do the employees get paid more? No, of course they don't. Of course they don't. Where does the money go? Who knows? Probably to investors. I, I don't know. Who knows? Shareholders. Really strange, Wendy's. Really strange. Really setting the dystopian theme for the 2025 landscape. Love it. It honestly lines up with how your brand speaks on Twitter. So I guess it makes sense. You guys just are wild over there. You guys are just wild over there with those, with those pigtails. So what are the long-term implications going to be for Wendy's for doing this strange dynamic pricing thing? Is it going to hurt their brand in the end? I, I think so. I think it's really freaking weird. But the only, only time will tell. If you think you need help with branding in your company, shoot me a DM. I'd love to help. So what do you think is going to happen to Wendy's customer base? Let me know in the comments. What would you do if you rolled up the Wendy's and suddenly your 
normal little meal is 20% more than it was the other day. How is that going to make you feel? Let me know in the comments. Are you cool with it? Are you like, ah, oh, yeah, I get it, Wendy's. I get it. You're busy. I'll pay more. I don't care. Is that you? Let me know in the comments. And if you didn't catch my last video about how Solo Stove fired their CEO over the whole Snoop Dogg marketing campaign, watch that one next.